Alright, so with the end goal of making as much money as possible, we can see there's a ton of different roles to this. We see different investing opportunities, we see businesses, we see increasing earnings power, and we see some investing opportunities that start off hidden. What do you mean with hidden investment opportunities, Andreas? Well, we see seed rounds in unlisted companies, these small businesses that are starting off, maybe they have some famous founders, maybe they don't, but they need capital to start off, maybe they need to find it via angel investors, maybe they need to find it via other sources. But how do we as investors find these opportunities? It's not like they're listed in our online brokerage accounts, right? Well, one way to go about this is with networking to unlock these hidden investing opportunities. And in my days, way back in 2013 to 2015-ish, I found one way that very wealthy individuals would use networking to unlock a lot of business opportunities. So I will share the one that I reflected on and found. And my hope is that some of the older subscribers here in the community, I see a lot of older gentlemen, 50 plus, maybe want to share some of their networking strategies down in the comments below to help out the community. All right, so when I worked in private banking, I would call out to ultra high net worth individuals and really wealthy people. It was people that you could read about in newspapers, you could see them on television sometimes, they were famous for business or sports or something like this. And I would have a calling list of people that had more than 2 million in assets or they had a really high, net, high income. And it would be for different cities all around in Stockholm. And I could invite them either directly to a one-to-one -one with a financial advisor or in some cases to events. And events is where it gets interesting because people would almost always accept going to events. It was super easy and I re never really reflected on it at the time. However, now that I'm a bit older and thinking more about the stuff that I do, I realized that, wait a second, I'm calling out to this mid or small sized town in Sweden, to all these wealthy people, only wealthy people, this event will gather everybody together. It's an excellent networking opportunity. In hindsight, I bet that a lot of the people who accepted the event wasn't there for financial advice, but rather just to do business, meet other wealthy people and uh, hear about what's going on in the business world. So just a great networking opportunity, just a opportunity to gather all the wealthy people in a mid or small sized town, or in some cases, a lot of the wealthy people in larger towns and then just for people to get to know each other better and of course listen in on some financial advice in this case. So that's one of the networking strategies that I have reflected on and one of the theories that I have regarding the events for different private banks that they put on and the reason for acceptance in some cases. All right, that's been it for this networking strategy, trying to unlock these hidden investment opportunities. Hopefully some of you guys have some interesting stories to share down in the comments below. And as always, hope you guys make a ton of money, whatever investments you decide to make. Take care now. Bye bye.